Hi guys and welcome back to another channel of another channel another episode of drone mesh So today we're gonna be taking a look at a new ESC It's like a new brand, but it's a brand, but I don't even know what the hell it is I'm calling it the heat ESC So this ESC is a 40 amp ESC BL heli 32 rated 40 amps 2 to 6 s lipo That's all nice. It has like a 40 amp burst current for 10 seconds uh, it does have telemetry as you can tell we have a shunt resistor right there, but telemetry pad where are you? It's back here and um, Yeah, filtration is absolute minimal So we're gonna be testing this and it's in our own it's done in our new testing methodology The graphs will also still be there and uh, I'll go over the graphs towards the end of the video now what I want to do is I want to compare it next to this guy now. Who's this guy? This is I think this was the previous video now uh, this guy ESC from fly color. It's just straight up to 4s. It's not a BL Heli 32 But they give you four with these ESC protectors and everything for like $38. Can you 38 bucks? So today we're gonna compare a $16 ESC with like a eight or seven dollar ESC here, but this is a proper Benchmark this is beating the $15 class ESCs just to let you know not in, in super voltage wise But on our most of our 4s builds this thing is handling fine. I've been testing it on 2306 motors It's gorgeous. I'm gonna have an update video coming up and we're gonna be building this very soon Now before we begin if you notice these two quads in the back This is the SPC. I forgot which one but it was the most awesome thing I've ever flown the other day blue for some reason I don't know what I haven't taken it apart and um, yeah, we're gonna see that we're gonna in an upcoming video why that happened and uh, This one if you're curious, this is the drone mesh split saying only have a couple left. This is my design uh, Cut and made by me. So if you would like one go ahead and check out the website down below get yourself a nice one uh, There's a special deal right now on these with a bundle with, with basically a brand new Maytek board Brand new Maytek F405, which doesn't fit on this because this is a 3 inch. But yeah, go ahead and check it out. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'll have a build video very soon and more flight footage of this guy very soon. It's one of the best micros I've ever flown in my life. It's a 2.5 to a 3 inch prop, takes 11XX motors. Let's push him to the side. Back to the ESCs. So, what do you guys think? Before continuing, take it, take your bets. Which one do you think is going to perform better? I personally don't really remember. I haven't really compared the FPV footage just yet. I have tested both though, and I'm about to start comparing right now. So enough talking. Let's stick them on the bench and let's get testing. Alright guys, so the results are in. So let's go ahead and just quickly understand what's going on here. On the left side, we have that new ESC, which is that I'm calling it the He 40 amp ESC that we just tested or the review is about. And on the right side is with the fly color budget 30 amp $10 ESC. So let's quickly take a look at this. Now we see here they're pretty much similar. We might say this is the throttle level noise uh throttle level noise you know how some people say oh i have mid throttle oscillations anywhere between 50 percent up to like 90 percent throttle it's the most noisy on every single esc now as you can tell here the the fly color is doing a lot better 
on the 50%. So this is 10% throttle just to, you know, get the motor warming up. This is 25% throttle. This is 50%, 75, and this is 100% throttle. All of them are like that. 10, 25, 50, 75, 100. So as you can tell here, at 50% 50 throttle, it's it's actually a lot doing a lot better on everything, pretty much. 75% throttle, it is noticeably a little bit better. But just to put this into better perspective here, I also did the color, color graded charts for you guys. So just give me a moment on that. And we can see them right now. So where we got fly color, throttle, color graded. There we go. Okay, let's put this. Nope, that's not it. Fly color. Yes, this one. All right. And then we need the he. Shit. We need the he. Where is the he? Color graded is throttle color. There we go. All right. So as you can tell here, there's a difference. It's the same exact graph. But you can tell how here it's just choppy and here it's just more static towards the middle. This is where most of the voltage was and this is much cleaner because it's such, you know, it's such a tighter knit voltage, you know, because a perfect voltage line is a straight line like this. This is when nothing is going on. You could see in here how choppy it was. And to be honest, it was pretty choppy. There was a test where I just wanted to double check if it, it's choppy and this is what I usually do. Instead of allowing it to start at 10% throttle, I have it immediately start at 25% throttle. And um, that shows me that the power, something's wrong with the power delivery. Either the filtration, the MOSFETs, something is just not right, okay? So this one, it, it does, it did have that choppiness. And this is a $16 ESC. This is that he ESC. This is pretty insane. This one was totally smooth, ran absolutely beautifully insane and if we take a look at the 100 percent throttle range look at this it's pretty consistent and here it's, a, it's better here it's pretty consistent it's more but the overall overall performance the 10 dollar esc this is to a 4s uh the hey, hey, don't forget that he could take up to a 6s but if it could take up to a 6s and it's doing this bad on a 4s then you know use your own logic for that <clears throat> Sorry about that allergy season. All right, so there we take we just took a look at the throttle graphs, and this is you know the mid throttle oscillations. You have a high probability of mid throttle oscillations with the he ESC here. Here it's very minimal with the fly color budget ESC. Now let's take a look at the noise. Now this is uh when I simulate you know hard maneuvers, rolls, you know punch out, stop, drop, you know do, you know these kinds of things. You know when when your pids correct it and quickly catch the quad to put it back in its place with you know what is it called uh fly mode oh my god actually air mode <laughs> air mode i actually forgot can you believe that air mode on so you could totally see that i don't have to say much you could totally see which one's better here now i also did the color graded so you can get even a better idea of what's really going on so let me just go ahead and open nose so here's a new here's the color graded version they're the same exact test but both colors uh, so you kind of get an idea where the voltage was most of the time and the noise color for the fly color is right here so we're going to see that right now and uh, you could totally see that the the fly color is, is doing a trillion times better, if not 50% times more better. Let's take it to voltage drops in the volt spice. We haven't seen those in a while. So on the He ESC, we got an 8 volt voltage drop. That's fine. Most ESCs are hitting there. That's when it's pushing up the most. And uh, we got a voltage spike of 31 volts. That is that is pretty high. That is pretty high. But it's, it's okay to see these spikes. But this right here is really a no-go. I mean, look at look at the fly color spike here. This is okay. This is not going to do much damage. This is fine. This is this is good average. Um, but you know, it's it went even the fly color had a twenty-eight point two voltage drop voltage spike here, where this one had a thirty-one. Uh, the average for the hue was around thirty-two point five. The average for this was around twenty-eight. So I just like to put the worst case scenario most of the time. And um, yeah, you could you could totally totally see the difference here. Um, in my opinion. The fly color is the way to go if you're building a 4S. However, if you bought the He, let us know how your experience went. This does not mean it's a piece of shit. I'm just telling, this is just, just showing you that there's good and there's bad, and price does not make a difference. Now, price makes a difference in the Tico 32, but that's a whole different story. So, yeah, so overall, uh, what I really wanted to get at from my previous video is these, just to show you how incredible this $10 ESC is, uh, which is pretty damn good. 
And um, <clears throat> overall, that's really it. That's all I could really say. This is bench testing. Uh, connecting four ESCs and testing them is coming up very soon. I'm actually, after I finish these videos, I've already started preparing it and then just doing uh, beta testing and prototypes. And if you guys want to see those vlogs of me just walking around blib blabbering and um, just like the previous ones, I could totally put those. I, it relieves some steam and it gives some more content and it just gives a own background and updates to specific products where it just... It It'll be annoying if I have to put like five videos a day to update you on a single product, which is kind of stupid. So I could do like a little vlog of everything that's going on this month. And I'll probably be doing ESC shootouts every two weeks or every month. So basically every ESC we tested in the month, we, we see which one was the best. And then we take the old time best and compare it to the best of that month. And uh, I have all these planned. And I'm going to need someone to help me put these images on the review site. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a lot of work kind of it. So, but I, 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 you know, I can't, I promise you anything. I could give you some parts instead uh, for your help. Uh, but I really want to get the ESC test part correct also on the shop mesh.com. So when you're looking for a budget ESC, I'm still preparing that section. You can see the ESCs there. Uh, there's affiliate links in there. I'm not going to lie. They're, they're all affiliated links. But what I've done is I've set up the script. So for example, you wanted to go buy this fly color budget 30 amp ESC. However, I hate Banggood, for example. Someone hates Banggood. It'll go, the, the script will actually go find you the price from GearBest, uh, AliExpress, eBay, Amazon, and Banggood, and then you can go ahead and uh, do that. But that's it, that's upcoming. I still just need a little bit more time to organize the layout because it's pretty ugly and it's pretty messy, kind of, and I want it to be perfect. But everything is there. You can still go ahead and check it out, but not everything's integrated except Banggood at the current moment in time, some GearBest here and there. But yeah, you should also totally download the Android application because uh, that'll also have these in there. It, it's it's not in its full form just yet. Currently, I'm just finishing up the website and there is constantly website and the application are being updated constantly. And uh, you guys are bringing me more traffic. I'm able to contact vendors for crazy coupons, especially from Banggood. Banggood finally agreed. Uh, they're giving us a pretty nice coupon. It's not activated yet, but once it's activated, I'll let you know through the app. And uh, it's going to be pretty cool and pretty awesome. So overall, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. Please consider joining my Patreon and really support the channel. I need all the support I could possibly get. You could also use the affiliate links down below, even if you didn't want to buy this. If you choose that link, buy whatever else you want later. You know, you can buy anything else. It gives me a couple cents here. It doesn't increase cost on you, and it just really supports the channel. And if you become a Patreon, you get awesome access to the secret shop and some all kinds of crazy cool stuff, especially the giveaways, obviously. And I do like crazy good giveaways, like expensive stuff. Uh, DIY Shark, the HLRC T Rex ESCs, uh, full blown quadcopters. You know, you it's just a, I'm trying to do a win win situation for all of us at the same time, keep support coming into the channel. And uh, hopefully, this information was useful and I will be uh, making it more useful and an easier layout as I go and I go with the process and I figure out a nice template. So, hopefully, you guys like this new type of video testing, ESC testing. Uh, there's more upgrades and more improvements coming, and um, that's really it. So, really consider joining my Patreon or purchasing a drone mesh split saying that really helps the channel you get something awesome in return and um it just keeps everything running smoothly and better and just unbiased and beautiful and just let these graphs talk for themselves and i think i've gone too long here so i'm gonna let you guys go i really hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to check out my patreon and uh check out the links down below if you want more information on this stuff and i uh, will see you next time see you guys take care